Hey there, I'm Marie Lally. And I'm Tony Valeri. And we're realtors with O'Brien Realty in Southern Maryland. Today was beautiful, bright sun, blue skies in the low 70s. It was the kind of day where Tony and I would head down to Solomon's and take a boat ride up to Seabreeze in Mechanicsville to eat crabs with the many like-minded Southern Marylanders. Instead, we ordered by phone, then drove by car to the empty parking lot at Seabreeze to pick up a dozen and a half crabs to bring home. What you got there, Ten? Crab. <laughs> Tony was working on building a knee wall for our patio today, but he had brought out the furniture just in time to eat crabs. For those who are not native Marylanders and maybe don't know how to pick a crab, here is a quick introduction. First, Tony pulls back the apron by prying it up with his knife. He then pulls forward on the back shell to remove the shell from the body, exposing all the mustard in the crab's cavity. He cleans up some of the mustard by scraping it with his knife. Tony then removes the legs and flippers. He then scrapes the spongy grayish gills or lungs off with a knife and disposes of them. They call these dead man fingers because of what they look like. Some people say they're toxic, other people say they're not, but they just taste nasty. Just throw those little gills away. Then you'll wanna clean up the crab a little bit more by removing its mouth parts Once the crab is pretty cleaned up, break off the claws and set them aside for now. We will get to those shortly. Take the crab in your hands and break the crab in half on the natural break line that divides the crab into a left side and a right side. Then take your knife and cut each side in half again, sort of like butterflying it, like Tony does it to expose all the little cavities that are filled with meat. The biggest lump is in the area where the back flipper is, or was. There are lots of little cavities that you can pick or squeeze to get the meat out. You can dip the picked crab meat in butter or malt vinegar, or just eat the meat as is. Repeat it for the other side of the crab. For the claws, some people just whack them with a crab knocker. We use a knife. First take the knife and score the claw near the pinchers, then take your hands and crack it through. And nine times out of 10, you'll get a nice solid lump of claw meat. Now the upper part of the claw is not so easy to get the meat from, but you score it near the elbow joint on the white side, the underside of the, uh, of the leg. Then crack it open with your hands. If the meat does not come out, just get your knife and pull it out. Seabreeze is located at 27130 South Sandgates Road in Mechanicsville. During the stay home order, they are offering takeout and delivery. You could call them at 301-373-5217 for details. This is the first time this year we've had crabs, although definitely not in our usual location. These were early crabs and they were not the biggest nor the heaviest, but they were delicious. Seabreeze always does a good job and today was no exception. We love Seabreeze and we think you will too.